You're Adonis, Donny Creed. How the heck did that happen? Ryan Coogler said, hey, you want to shoot this movie about Apollo Creed's son? And I said, yes. And that's the interview. There Thanks, it is, everybody. Guys. We're out of here. Good We've had go. some fun. Always a pleasure. There's kind of an obligation to talk about the workout regime that you've got to go through. Is it an first. obligation, really? Look, as somebody who has a very similar physique to you mm, okay. in this movie. It's not for you, it's for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, cool. Because they look at me and they want to know. Got you. They want to know, how does he do it? I'll help you out. So look, I gather on the first one, no body double. No. You've never had a body double, right? Uh, no. Yeah, right. So mm -hmm. you are obliged, on almost more or less, three or two times a day working out, six days a week, strict diet, and you also had to um, learn how to box. Sometimes you gotta just do it. You can't think about it too much. You know, you just gotta, I'm a, I'm a sink or swim type of guy. It's like one of those things you just kind of throw me in there and either it's gonna go amazingly well or, you know, it may not, not so much. But uh, no, <laughs> honestly, the first time around, just kind of like looking back, I think my motivation was like Rocky IV, you know, and looking back at those physiques and like what they were doing. I'm like, look, if I'm gonna come out here and we're trying to do something that a lot of people may or may not accept, we gotta like make it undeniable. Mm -hmm. So like that was the, the kind of, and then listen, you're gonna be immortalized in film. You're be sitting up there in these big screens and if you don't come correct you will be embarrassed for a really long time and it's a franchise to end all franchises like this is this is a big deal for a lot of people exactly i gather that and i know he's talked about it many times but sly started this tradition of you have to take a real punch and yes. get hit once a movie right yes tell me when you're directing yourself in a movie you're producing that maybe you could give yourself a break mm -hmm. because directing yourself to get punched that's a bit of a head trip so much fun <laughs> So much fun. I mean, this is like I mean I'm sick now, so like I got it. So I got the bug. So now it's like, hey, listen, like like this is good. like the, the I know it's gonna make it look so much better. Yeah. And um and and any opportunity we could to that you know within reason to really go for it, we we definitely did. You know, and and finding new ways to take real punches was was another way to go. So what's the what's the new trick? Specific moments in the fight that I found ways to take real punches that wasn't a traditional on the chin. Okay, okay, yeah. I will say there are some beautiful shots of your sweat, slow-mo, bouncing off your back. Is that sort of from your anime love? Yes. Talk to me about how anime informed the way you placed the camera and shot the movie. So usually in anime, you know, um, you know, when the protagonist and antagonist are fighting, Physically, they're trying to take each other's heads off. They're trying to kill each other. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to, you know, trying to win the physical battle. But emotionally, you know, they're usually someplace quiet, mm. and they're talking about how they feel because talking was the only way. Well, fighting was the only way they can communicate with one another. Tell me though, if you were a total layman, you've never seen anything. You've never seen, you know, Neon Genesis, Evangelion. You've not seen a thing. What are your go-to? Here's what you start. Suggestions. Oof. Uh, One Piece, Dragon Ball, Naruto. Bleach, Hunter, Hunter. That's a pretty good start in five. There are some outstanding shots in the previous films as well. I think there was a was it a two minute or two round fight? Yeah, it was one single take. Yeah, we did a one around it, and you did it thirteen times. I said the thirteenth take. You got it. You're good. Yeah, it was the thirteenth take. No, I mean at that point you're exhausted, you know, and you're just like, hey man, let's hope we got it. But we're fine tuning it every 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 take. You're fine tuning it. You're missing, you know. And then, yeah, it, it was it was awesome. And, I, and that's, you know, I love winners, you know. And me and Ryan, whenever we can, we we try to like you know build in a winner somewhere. So that was something that we were really proud of. Uh, I'm slightly obsessed with the idea of you directing with gloves on, with a mouth guard in. Were some of your best directions, obviously physical ones, but also, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then getting into more of a more more of a conversation. But you know, when you're in the the rhythm and, and you're in the mode, you know, I can direct by acting. Jonathan Majors is a bit good, isn't he? Though I mean, you know, he's all right. When you're, he's fantastic. He's unbelievable. Um, unbelievable, man. When you push those twenty dollar bills, I don't know what they are, in front of him at that diner. Mm -hmm. 
It's electric. Mm. There, was, there are some moments where you go, we got it in two takes. <laughs> you, do you believe that that was the, the first day of shooting? That was the first scene we ever shot? Shut up. Yeah, that first one. I wanted to set the tone with the two of us, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to like set the tone day one of the movie that the cast and crew that this is what the movie that we were making and this is what it's all about. So I felt it was important to get that one like first first thing out there. You were shooting this in Atlanta. And I think the last time we spoke was for Without Remorse. Mm -hmm. And I asked you a very sneaky question and you quite rightly stopped me. And it was, how are you letting people down gently that you're not going to be in Black Panther Wakanda forever? Mm. And you're too wily a fox <laughs> to fall into that trap. And he said, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> how does it feel now to be able to talk about it? And how proud are you of, of making it work so well? Because the, it just it was so good. And the flames in that room. Oh. I mean, yeah, it was... Uh... I just feel blessed to be able to honor Chad, you know, in, in, in a real way. You know, that movie was was for him, you know, and to like, you know, honor him by moving forward meant the most to me, you know. Um, obviously, bittersweet because I would love to have, you know, been able to work with him one more time. Um, but I think the cast and crew and Ryan, he did an incredible job um, evolving and adapting and making a story that, that 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 honors him and pushes the franchise forward, it was uh, it was something special. Yeah, when Ryan came to you with that, you must have gone, "That is genius! I can't talk to literally anyone about this." Uh, no, I mean he didn't even. You know, that was probably the one movie that you know, as long as I've known Ryan, that he's been the most uh, kept kept close to the vest I bet. for a slew of reasons. You know, so 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 I was genuinely surprised at the film because mm -hmm. I didn't know a lot. Yeah, man. surprisingly. So people ask me things, and I was like, "Look, you can hook me up to it. You can literally. I know I've said this before. I know I said I didn't know, and I was lying. I lied to you back then. But right now, you can hook me up, and I would pass it for sure." My final thought for you is this: What does this character mean to you? And I know this is a big question. Yeah. But in your heart, what does Creed mean to you? Eight nine years playing this guy, Adonis Creed, has become a place for me to grow on screen and to release things in my personal life. I was able to, you know, insert and talk about themes and feelings and emotions that I might have struggled with and grown out of that I was able to have Adonis go through. So I think he 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 represents um evolution for me and change and uh and freedom. To me, I wanna hark back to what you said earlier when you were challenged with the physical attitude of the, the physical requirements and you just said, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And that's greed to me. He's mm. just gonna do it. Mm. Love that. I nearly said something about the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thank you, you held it you held it tight he's, he's gonna do it yeah um thank you appreciate always you, a pleasure man. michael Sorry, truly, man. truly thank you appreciate you my guy thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date you can listen to my radio on movies and tv podcast screen time on bbc sounds and you can find these interviews in full on bbc iplayer by searching movies with ali plum